Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to episode 0 of my FIFA 18 Manchester United career mode. I'm so excited to do this video here today for you guys. So, this is going to be a plan of attack. This is going to be the strategy I'm hopefully going to be employing in my FIFA 18 Manchester United career mode. I want to get as much feedback from you guys in this video. The whole purpose of this video is to make my FIFA 18 Manchester United career mode as interactive as possible. So, here today, we're going to be playing around with the formation and tactics for the upcoming career mode that I'm going to be doing. And at, at any point, guys, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions on formations and tactics I should play, players you would like me to sign for the first team, obviously some youth players, and where would you like me to send my youth scouts? So, we're going to be going through the formations and tactics first up, and then we're going to be going through the players. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys, players you would like me to sign for my upcoming FIFA 18 Manchester United career mode. I'm going to be doing a Real Madrid video as well. Just as a disclaimer, this is episode zero, so there's no FIFA for 18 gameplay on screen. We're just using FIFA 17 gameplay for the purpose of this video. But basically what I want, I want to get a general consensus for you guys on players you would like me to sign and uh, formations you would like me to play. So, I'm going to be playing this season a 3-5-2. I think that is the best formation that we should play, but if shit hits the fan, we're probably going to go with my 4-3-2-1. So I think this is the best squad I can field without... Transfers. So I'm going to be playing Rashford, Lukaku up top, Pogba as a cam, Martial on the left, Mkhitaryan on the right, and Herrera, Matic, Lindelof, Rojo, Bay, and David De Gea in goal. I want to be strengthening three key areas. I'm probably going to really need to strengthen strengthen that right hand side, bringing in a right sided player more than anything. I wouldn't mind bringing in an additional striker because we've got so many matches this season with the Champions League, of course. So bringing another top striker would be a good idea and as we're playing a three at the back system maybe bringing in another defender let me know those three positions so if, 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 do you guys know of a right-sided player a new probably a striker and a center back you would like me to sign so Let's talk about the players as well. Basically, everyone in that starting eleven is a huge part of my my first team. Now, Ibrahimovic probably won't be back to October in real life, so I don't think I'm going to start the career mode with him just yet. Also, let's talk about Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard, I don't know. He's he's Manchester bred and born, you know. So I'm probably going to give him a year, but if he doesn't sort of come up to snuff, I'm probably going to sell him on. Like last year, Marouane Flaney. I love Marouane Flaney in career mode. He is such a weapon. He's a tool because I say that in the nicest way possible. He can unlock the midfield and defence. He's just such a unique commodity in the world of football. There's no other player like him. And that's how Jose Mourinho in real life has been deploying him, just chucking him in when we played our Los Blancos, Real Madrid, in the uh, the friendly. They just chucked Fellaini in, into probably to, to arguably the best midfield three of Cruz, Modric, and Bale. Uh, sorry, not Bale. Cruz, Modric, and... Um, uh, Cruz, Modric, and Casemiro, that's it. I couldn't think of his name off the top of my head. Yeah, he just chucked him in there, and he absolutely wreaked havoc. One matter. Love one matter in real life. I plan to sell him in this career mode, but if there's a huge sort of outcry you want me to keep him, I could change my mind. The thing is, right, one matter in career mode is just so small and so weak, so he just gets shrugged off the ball too much. Um, I always like selling him for a player plus cash deal. Daily Blind, definitely going to be want to be keeping him. Can play all around the park, the midfield and left back. Going to be rotating him very heavily. Valencia, I think we might try and sell him. Maybe in January. The thing is, right, these older players are just going to go rocketing down in stats. So we're probably better off selling him and maybe even bringing in an additional right back. Romero, Argentines, number one. Definitely going to be keeping him as a backup to David De Gea, just in case there's an injury. Michael Carrick, I'm kind of undecided with. We probably could try and sell him in January, give him six months. But at, the thing is, right, he's going to go rocketing down so far in stats, he might not even be worth it. Maybe we're better off giving that game time to another youngster we can bring in through the youth academy or perhaps abroad. Ashley Young, I'm going to be selling. I don't think he has a purpose at 
Manchester United anymore. Luke Shaw, I'm going to be more lenient with him instead of Jose Mourinho. Give him a year. We'll see how we go. Chris Smalling, I'm going to choose Jones over Smalling. So we could let Chris Smalling go because I, I will prefer the back three of um, Rojo... Lindelof and Eric Bay. Matteo Damian, I don't mind him. If a huge offer comes in from Juventus, I remember last year we sold him for a whopping £35 million to Manchester City because they were desperate for full backs. So, Matteo, if a huge bid comes in for him, I'm more than happy to let him go to like Juventus or Man City. But um, we'll, we'll sort of see how he goes. I don't mind Matteo Damian. Jones, I'm going to keep over Smalling. Uh, two and Zabi, we're going to be keeping as well. Most of these youngsters might get some first teams. We'll try and put them out on loan, like McTominay. Harrop isn't here. Of course, I, I man, if Chong is in FIFA 18, I'll be absolutely over them. I, lo I love that Manchester youngster. Now, sometimes, guys, not everything comes to plan in career mode. So, especially mine, I'm going to be probably playing a 4-3-2-1. I really love this formation in FIFA 18. I've been banging on about it for years. I love the inside forward capacity over the wingers. So, if I was to play this formation, I'll probably play a 4-3-2-1 Kaku up top, Marcus Rashford on the right, Martial on the left, Pogba at the cam, Mickey Matic in the midfield, Luke Shaw, Bay, and Rojo in the defence. We probably could bring in maybe like Fabinho, play him as a right back, invert him from the midfield. Maybe, maybe we should bring in another right back as well. We're going to be getting on to the players now. As well, so let me know in the comments players you would like me to sign for this season. So, like I said, I really want to emphasis on getting a right winger, a right midfielder, a right sided player, and then we'll move to look at a striker and a centre back. So, guys, I guarantee you I will sign a couple of these players. Not everything is set in stone, of course, but um, yeah, let me know any players on this shortlist you would like me to sign, and maybe some I've left out. So, obviously, bringing Cristiano Ronaldo back to the club would be huge. Bring in another striker, not so much to replace Lukaku, Rashford, or Martial, just to sort of help with the additional goals. Sanchez, Griezmann, Costa, Harry Kane, maybe get Javier Hernandez in January when West Ham look to get relegated. I joke, I joke. Maybe Belotti, Balotelli. I'd love to bring Mario back to the Premier League. I love Mario Balotelli in real life. He could work wonders for us. Okay, moving to the right-hand side of player, which I'm really going to be trying to look forward to. We could get sort of a Galactico signing of Gareth Bale. Messi is pretty unrealistic, but we could try and get him if you guys would like to see that. Maybe bringing back Angel Di Maria, Berardi, invert Perisic to the right-hand side. Willian Mahrez, like getting Willian would be a really, really interesting... Um, by, I reckon. We'll move on to the centre-back soon, and then we're going to be going through some of the youngsters, which I've shortlisted. So, the youngsters are all around the park that could strengthen United in the future. So, I really want a right-sided player. I think we're really weak there. All these players are an upgrade, of course, on uh, Jesse Lingard. Okay, moving to the centre-backs now. Fabinho, I know he's a defensive midfielder, but he could put a shift in at right-back. He's probably the only one of the midfielders I'd probably look to be getting. Centre-backs, Wise, we've got a pretty decent back line of um, Lindelof, Rojo, and Bay, but maybe bringing in someone else just to sort of strengthen that. We are playing three at the back. We could get injuries. I'm going to keep Jones, but I'm probably going to move on Chris Smalling. So we've got Varane, Toby Artaviro, we've got Laporte, Umtiti, Kabuli, Van Dijk, Aspila Quata, uh, who can probably play more left, right, and centre, so he might be a little bit more enticing than the others. Let me know in the comment section down below if any of those guys tickle your fancy. Okay, guys, moving on now to the youngsters shortlist. Now, these are players that are obviously a lot younger, so I, I, want, I want to strengthen those three primary first team positions of the right hand side striker and center back and then these are just youngsters all over the field that probably can get a couple of games maybe five games in the first season and then we could pop pop out on loan just get them nice and young so we can make a profit and uh, get them nice and young and early before we have to pay like huge huge amounts next season obviously my objectives for this season is hopefully try and win the treble win a treble we definitely want to go far in the champions league and in the premier league i wouldn't mind going on a cup run probably more so in the fa cup than the carling but pulisic here julian weigel deli alley timo Werner, dolberg locatelli 
um, we've got Thomas Lamar, we've got Reese Oxford, Dahoud, we've got Jesus Vela Hall. There's so many youngsters here that I could pick from, but let me know in the comments who. We can't pick everyone, of course, but let me know. A striker, a centre-back, a right-sided player, and then, of course, some of the youngsters. I think I've gone through everything. I've gone through all the tactics. Stay tuned now for the Real Madrid video coming up next, episode zero. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. The main purpose of this video is to get a constructive feedback from you guys. Let me know who you would like me to sign so I can make the career mode as interactive as possible. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and want to support the channel. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me after this video. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. Much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click subscribe and click the bell to join the notification squad. I do love reading those comments in the comment section down below. Okay. Check out um, my G2A affiliation link in the description below if you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games. Maybe Football Manager, maybe some cheap PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs. Check out the G2A affiliation link in the description below. I do highly recommend it. There's some really great prices on there, so go check out G2A. Patreon, Steam Group there as well. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. My name has been Simpsy. Take care. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.